Hi, my name is Richard Duffy, and on behalf of the entire team at Leverage Cloud Technologies, I'd like to welcome you to today's presentation. I'm the General Manager and Cloud ERP Evangelist for Leverage Cloud Technologies, and what I'm going to do in today's presentation is I'm going to introduce you to a solution called MYOB Advanced. I'm also going to talk with you how, using MYOB Advanced from Leverage, we can show you how you can control your business processes, drive profitable growth, empower your employees, and leverage cloud technologies. In today's presentation, I'm gonna take you through a couple of specific topics. First thing I'm gonna do is just introduce uh, leverage technologies to you just very, very quickly and introduce myself. Um, as I said, my name is Richard Duffy. I am the general manager of cloud solutions at Leverage Cloud Technologies. And I'm also the Cloud ERP Evangelist. I've been deploying ERP solutions now for almost 30 years uh, from a whole variety of different vendors, starting off with uh, solutions like Attaché, then through to Great Plains, which has then became uh, Microsoft Dynamics, SAP Business One, and most recently Acumatica, and now MYOB Advanced. And for those of you who don't know, Acumatica is actually the product on which MYOB Advanced is built. But we'll talk a little bit more about that as we go through. So hopefully what I'll be able to do in today's presentation is share some of my experience uh, from out in the field working with small and mid-sized businesses just like yours. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk a little bit briefly just to set the stage about the evolution of ERP or enterprise resource planning and talk about the technology sitting behind ERP and how did we get to a point where a solution like MYOB Advanced is the right choice for small and mid-sized businesses. What I'm gonna then do is give you a little bit of a snapshot of MYOB Advanced. So we're just gonna have a quick glance at that. We're gonna talk a little bit about the functionality that's in the solution. And as part of that, I'm actually gonna provide a short demonstration. Nothing too long because uh, one of the things that we have put together for you at Leverage Cloud Technologies on our website is a whole series of different demonstrations that will take you in detail through each of the different functional areas of MYOB Advanced. What we're then gonna do is we're gonna talk a little bit about the technology platform underpinning the MYOB Advanced Solution, because I think that's important to kind of understand what really makes uh, a web-based solution different to what you might be getting presented to you today, which is traditional solutions presented in a hosted model. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about that and talk about why organizations are choosing the platform that MYOB Advanced is built on. I'm gonna then, uh, right at the end, just wrap up and give you a little bit more information about Leverage Cloud Technologies and what we do, uh, because hopefully by then you will have seen the solution, you will have had an understanding of, of why cloud ERP makes sense today, and you're probably thinking, well, who are these guys at Leverage and why would I wanna um, talk further with them? And then after that, I'm also gonna go through with you some questions uh, and answers and give you some next steps so that you've got uh, some specific action items to follow up from today's presentation. So then let's talk about the evolution of enterprise resource planning because I think it's important to understand how we got to where we are today. If you think about it, back in the 80s, this is when I first started selling accounting software. We were selling accounting software for MS-DOS, Microsoft DOS, character-based. It was expensive custom development. The user interfaces were really clunky and they had limited features and functionality and they were very expensive to maintain and difficult to upgrade. So we then went through a bit of a paradigm shift into the 1990s when SAP actually introduced um, a concept called client server enterprise resource planning. And most people don't know it, but SAP originally started off as a solution for small businesses. But anyway, client server was a situation where you had your data stored on a server and the programs running on your client machine. But the same challenges were there. It was very expensive to do custom development. You were chained to the desktop. If the network connection went down, you were lost. You lost your data. There was a good chance you were gonna corrupt things and so on and so forth. So it was very hard to collaborate with partners and customers. And the reason why so many of these things were impacted was because these solutions didn't support statelessness. Statelessness is the ability to disconnect the client from the server, have the network connection disconnected, 
and then when the network connection reconnects, be able to continue on exactly from where you were. Okay, so that's an important concept to understand as you're thinking about cloud enterprise resource planning. So then we went into the 2000s. I love saying this, that the turn of the century, it makes me feel old and wise. Um, some people would say old, not necessarily wise. But anyway, we went into the turn of the century and we started getting this generation of web-based applications still difficult to customize. Why? Because they were based on proprietary technologies. And the whole idea behind that was that the vendors um, could then lock you in and they had you locked into their platforms, they held onto your data, and you had no choice but to accept the price increases or whatever terms and conditions that they chose to impose upon you. Still, there was a lack of integration with on-premise systems, but you really had that first generation of web-based user interfaces and user experiences. And now I try to avoid acronyms wherever I can, but these are a couple of good ones to know. So anytime you see UI and UX, UI refers to the user interface, the way the software works, uh, and the way it looks rather, and UX is user experience, which is the way it works and how easy it is for your people to, uh, to work with those applications. So we've really been in this constant evolutionary cycle. But really that was yesterday. Where we're at today in this decade, we've moved to the decade of cloud ERP where you now have solutions that are easier to integrate and they're built on extensible platforms. They support multiple screen sizes, so it doesn't matter whether you're using a PC, a Mac, if you're using um, an Android device, an iPad, uh, all the, the software automatically adapts to those different screen sizes. They're offered in a public cloud. What does this mean to you? Basically means you don't have to go out and invest tens or sometimes hundreds of thousands of dollars in IT infrastructure to run these new solutions because you can take advantage of the public cloud, which is that shared infrastructure, which is secure, okay, protected, um, firewalled off from everybody else, but you have the advantage that you're sharing that infrastructure and you're only paying for a very small piece of that infrastructure. Matter of fact, you're only paying for what you use. So that's a really big advantage. And so then that gives you this flexible deployment and pricing model where you choose the level of um, resources that you need in order for you to take uh, advantage of the solution. So if you need a certain amount of data, then that's all you pay for. If somebody else needs a bigger chunk of data, then they pay for a bigger chunk of data. It's not one size fits all. You can really tailor it specifically to where you need it to be. And what does that mean? That means it keeps your total cost of ownership down. All right, so it makes it very, very easy to have an affordable solution and for you to get access to an affordable solution, potentially that you might not have been able to buy before. Why? Because again, you're only paying for what you use and you're paying for a small slice of that incredibly powerful and robust infrastructure. But more about that as we progress. So this is really where we're at today. And this is what MYOB Advanced is all about. MYOB Advanced at Leverage Cloud Technologies, we believe it's about helping you realize your business potential. And MYOB Advanced is the next generation of cloud enterprise resource planning applications. Now, many people, when they think of MYOB, they think of the smaller products, maybe like uh, MYOB Account Right, that is really designed for small enterprises, for small businesses. Well, I'm gonna talk a little bit more about that and help you understand that this solution is really a major step up. So, you know, potentially you might be using QuickBooks today or you might be using MYOB account right and you've outgrown that solution. Well, MYOB advanced is the next generation of application for you and it takes advantage of all those cloud technologies that we were talking about. So then people often say to me, Richard, well, how do I choose? There's so many of these applications out there and you can see, you know, here's just a quick snapshot of some of the ones that, that, that you could choose from. Now, when I was working at Acumatica, uh, I was the vice president of partner strategy and enablement until recently uh, when I decided to move back from the United States to Australia. Uh, and join leveraged uh, cloud technologies. But when I was there, we came up with this way of looking at the different solutions. And it was something that we presented actually to um, Gartner and they really liked 
uh, the way that we, we articulated this. And let me explain it to you. It's really about making the right decision for your business. So if enterprise resource planning is all about automating and managing business processes, then doesn't it make sense that the level of complexity of your business process should be the key determining factor for which solution you need? Well, we believe it is. So when you look at organizations who have got very simple business processes, just basic invoicing, basically producing a P&L, um, they just need to basically manage their cash, do a bank reconciliation. You know, they don't need ERP. Maybe they're using the world's most popular accounting software package, Microsoft Excel, potentially QuickBooks, or again, as I said, MYOB Account Right, a great entry level solution for organizations. So then you start moving into um, a simple business. This kind of sounds funny simple complexity, simple business complexity, but you know, a lesser degree of business complexity. Um, and this is where you start wanting to look at some of these other solutions like SAP Business One. MYOB Advanced starts to kick into that. Then when you start looking at moderate business complexity, now what do I talk about when I say moderate business complexity? Um, these business processes are where we're talking about, you know, maybe you have government regulation that you have to cover. Maybe you're operating in um, life sciences or healthcare, where you have very specific record keeping requirements. Maybe you're in food manufacturing where tracking and traceability is key, where you need to track and trace your raw materials right back to the individual source tracking batch numbers, lot numbers, serial numbers, that kind of thing. When we're starting to look at that level of business process complexity, that's what I talk about as being moderately complex. And that's where you're seeing some of these other applications also starting to kick in. Now, then you move into high complexity, which is when we start seeing the oracles, the infors, um, NetSuite kind of on that borderline there. But here's an interesting point. Um, you've got to kind of mark out an area where a solution sits. But the amazing thing is that MYOB Advanced and in fact the underlying platform that MYOB Advanced is built on Acumatica is being drawn up into even bigger implementations. Why? Because the software is so powerful. And you're going to see a little bit of an example of that when I get into the demonstration. So hopefully that gives you a framework for thinking about this. And we believe that MYOB Advanced is the right choice for a small or mid-sized business uh, or a mid-market business. Why? Because it has the functionality that you need today, but you'll see this as we go, it also has the room and the scope to grow into the future. So let's take a look at MYOB Advanced, if you like, at a glance. So again, the idea behind this being at a glance, we're not gonna dive down into a huge level of depth because again, if you visit our website at www.leveragecloudtech.com.au, we've put together a whole range of information there that should answer all the questions that you have. Uh, and we've also got additional resources available for you, but I'll talk more about that as well uh, as we wrap up today's presentation. So really we think it's about, you know, leveraging your business potential, realizing your business potential. We think it's really about three key areas, being able to control your business processes. At the end of the day, that's what ERP and accounting is all about. It's really about helping you manage those business processes, automating the repetitive ones, okay, so that you can then focus on the more value added tasks like looking after your customers, managing your customer relationship management, uh, enhancing and adding value to the experience that your customers have every day when they work with you, or, if one of the things that drives your profitability is managing how well you buy, being able to manage those relationships with your suppliers is really, really critical. And then looking for new business opportunities, getting insight from the system so that you can look at where the business is and where it needs to be so that you can drive profitable growth. And that's the second pillar of what we're really focused on when we deploy an MYOB advanced solution for you. It's really looking at helping you drive profitable growth because cutting cost, of course, is important. You know, minimizing and removing as much cost from the business as you possibly can is key. But it's also about improving the top line, making sure that you have the opportunity to maximize the revenue that is available to you in your line of business. And then, of course, the third thing, it's all about empowering your employees. If you think about it, 
For many organizations, your human resources are your most expensive. So doesn't it make sense to make sure that you're giving them a solution that gives them access to the information they need, to the tools that they need to be able to do their jobs, to be able to help your customers, to be able to manage your supplier relationships effectively, to be able to manage your inventory levels effectively. That's really what we're about with MYOB Advanced is helping you do those things. Control your business processes, drive your profitable growth, and empower your employees. So then how do we do that? Well, with MYOB Advanced, as you would expect, there is deep and rich functionality that is available for you. And it's across these four core product suites. The financial management, which is the core, you know, the general ledger, enabling you to produce a P&L, enabling you to manage your cash, manage your tax, um, look after your accounts receivable, accounts payable, uh, handle all of the aspects of that. And then of course, if you're in a service business or even if you're in a job related business or you just wanna manage the costs of bespoke or individual projects or activities that you do, then the project accounting suite is also helpful. Distribution management for those organizations who buy and sell a product. So those modules around sales order management with very deep, rich functionality, um, managing your purchase order functionality as well, handling your inventory management effectively, optimizing your inventory management, not only with the MYOB advanced solution, but also with what we call complementary solutions that for those organizations who have even more complex requirements around inventory, budgeting, and forecasting, you can plug those modules in. And then of course, no ERP solution would be complete without fully integrated customer relationship management. Not customer relationship management plugged in from another vendor with some um, middleware in between trying to keep all the systems uh, integrated. With MYOB Advanced, you have one application with one consistent user experience, with one single database, with one single automation engine running behind it that ties all of your customer information together with your financial information. So you can see in the core product suites, we're really covering all of that key functionality that an organization needs. So what I'd like to do now is kick in and give you a little bit of a demonstration of the MYOB Advanced application. Uh, and then we're gonna come back, we're gonna talk a little bit about the technology platform, and then we're gonna wrap up and I'm gonna give you some next steps. So welcome to the demonstration of MYOB Advanced. What I'm gonna do is just take you through a couple of high level points on the solution just to get you a little bit familiar with, uh, with how it works. Point out a couple of things that make MYOB Advanced very, very different. Uh, and then hopefully by the end of the demonstration, you will have seen enough to know that this is the kind of solution that you wanna take um, a deeper look at, a closer look at. And then uh, at the end of today's presentation, I'll explain to you how you can do just that. So the first thing you'll notice about MYOB Advanced is it is 100% browser based. Now there's different ways that you can take pieces of software uh, the same old software that you're using today and you can make it run in a web browser, all right? But that's not the same as being browser-based, all right? You can take, without getting overly technical, you can take any application, any Windows-based application, run it on Microsoft terminal services or remote desktop services, they call it now, or Citrix and you can use some jiggery pokery, that's the technical term, um, to get that to run inside a web browser. But as I go through today's presentation, I'm gonna show you some of the things that really make working in a web browser so much better and so much easier and, and really help you understand the difference between a product that has been built for the cloud and a product that I've heard some analysts refer to as being cloud washed. So that's you know a product that they try and make it look like it's it's works in the cloud, but it doesn't really quite cut it. 
So the first thing that you're gonna see with MIOB Advanced is that it works with any web browser, any HTML5 compatible web browser, and that's pretty much every single one. Whether it's what I'm using now, Google Chrome, or it's Microsoft Edge, the very latest one that comes with Windows 10, or if it's uh, Opera or Firefox, uh, whether you're running on the Mac, whether you're running on Linux, whether you're running on a Surface device, whatever the case may be, as long as it's HTML5 compliant, you're good to go. So all your people need to be able to access uh, MYOB Advanced is when you become a customer, you get your own URL that everybody uses to get to the system. Now, this is a demo server that we have access to. All right, and you'll see this is just the URL up the top. Now I'm gonna hit the refresh button just so you see this screen will reload, all right? And I use um, Norton Security and it remembers my usernames and passwords. So it's just remembered my username and password and it's popping it in here. Now, important point to note. See here, this is HTTPS up the top. That means that this session is actually protected with a digital certificate. So this is exactly the same level of security that your electronic banking uses. All right, so that basically makes sure that all of the information that goes between your computer and the server is private. And you can see your connection to the site is private. So it's encrypting all of that data and you can go in here and you can see all the technical details um, about how that encryption is done. Uh, the thing to remember is to break this encryption code takes the world's most powerful computer at the moment, still about two days to break um, a 2048-bit uh, SSL encrypted data stream. So what does all that mean if you throw all the jargon to one side? I'm not necessarily sure that most of us have got data that's really going to require um, somebody to have the access to that level of computing power in order for them to want um, to, to break your security. Um, that's usually reserved for government departments and so on and so forth. So anyway, hopefully you get the point. So you put in your username and password. Now, MYOB Advanced is multi-company. So one of the things that you can do is if you've got multiple companies that you're accessing, you'll also get an additional field here where it asks you for the username, password, and then the company that you wanna work in. My demo system right now is just a single company. So all I'm gonna do here is choose sign in, but of course, if you, um, if you have forgotten your credentials, you'll see there's this little um, click box here. You can say, forgot your credentials. And like any good web-based uh, system, it will ask you to validate who you are and then it'll, it'll send you a, a reset of your password. Now you'll see, this is the MYOB um, splash screen and you'll see it's telling you, hey, this is MYOB technology, but also components are um, part of the Acumatica system. And that's what I was, what I'm, uh, what I was talking about and what I'm gonna talk about a little bit more after this demonstration about the underlying platform for MYOB Advanced. So I'll hit the sign in button and then um, what it's now doing is it's basically going ahead and it's saying, all right, who are you? So I am currently with my username R Duffy, I'm configured as an administrator. So that gives me full access right throughout the entire system. But what I've said is I've said, when I come into the system, I want to get a dashboard. So the key thing with this is MYOB Advanced is completely role-based. What does that mean? Well, you decide what are the tasks that you have to do as part of your role. And then what you can do is you can create one of these dashboards that's made up of these different areas here, which are called widgets, which are a combination of graphs and um, key performance indicator um, representations. It also has uh, what we call generic inquiries that pull data out and give me a summary of that data. But it also gives me the ability to go in and select specific records from one of these widgets, or it even has these widgets that give me a quick way of accessing the functionality in the software. So you'll see this is my admin dashboard, but for example, I can go to my time and expenses dashboard and I see a different view. So I've got my ability to enter my web-based timesheets, I've got my ability here to enter my expense reports and so on. Or if I'm a salesperson, I might wanna to go to my sales dashboard. And when I look at my sales dashboard, that looks uh, completely different because I've got a completely different set of tasks that I wanna work with. All right, now the great thing about this is, assuming you have the rights 
um, you can design your own dashboard. So what you can do is you can go over here and you can click on the design button and you can copy different dashboard widgets into your dashboard or whatever the case may be. There's even dashboard templates that are created here. For example, a cash register or an inventory management dashboard. And you'll see here's an example of one of those widgets that I can just take this and I can put it into my company dashboard. All right, so if I wanna go into my shipping dashboard, for example, and I look at this uh, shipping dashboard, what it's going to do is it's going to go and it's going to pull all of these different widgets uh, that I have selected and it's going to drop them into my shipping dashboard. So there you see there is those inventory links as one of the widgets in my dashboard. So it makes it very, very easy for you to tailor the system completely to meet your requirements. And you know what? You can still access the menu system. For example, each of those suites that I was telling you about you can access them from up the top here, you know, finance, distribution. Uh, then when you go into each one of these areas, if you're in your organization, for example, you've got your project accounting, um, you can access the system through there, or you can completely ignore that. You can hide the menu on the side and you can just drive the entire system from your own personalized dashboard. Now, one of the things that makes a true web-based system is that you'll see this option, receive inventory items, for example. Actually, I'm gonna give you a different example. Uh, let's go back into our company dashboards. Let's go to our sales dashboard because sales transactions are always much more exciting because it's all about generating revenue. So I'm gonna minimize that. All right, so that gets that out of the way. Of course, I can always go back to it any time just by clicking on this little button here on the side. And guess what? I'm actually using a touch screen right now. So I can use my finger and I can use the touch screen. You'll notice I'll move the mouse across here. It won't go anywhere. Um, I'm just gonna use my finger to open up and close down um, the, the system. So it's really designed so that you can use touch-based devices as well. But anyway, you'll see when I am hovering over this option, enter sales leads, one of the areas in a web browser is down here, down the bottom, uh, it's called the status bar. When I hover over this function, see down in the status bar, it actually tells you the name of the screen. So here's the great thing with uh, MYOB Advanced. If I, for example, click on enter sales leads and I open up my enter sales leads screen, here's the thing. I can now share this data with anybody that I want as long as they have access to the system. I'll give you an example. I'm gonna navigate through the records. I'm gonna call up an existing record. So we just use these video buttons to go to the first record, the last record, and so on. So here's a new lead that I've got. And let's say I might wanna share this with somebody. Well, the great thing about MYOB Advanced is I just go over here to help, and I say get link, all right? Then I grab this external link here and I copy it. And all I have to do now is send that to somebody. I can send it to them via email. I can go into my Microsoft Outlook and I can paste it in there. Or built into MYOV Advanced, there is a mail system which just links into your Exchange system or whatever your backend SMTP mail gateway is. Great integration with Office 365. So all of that's available for you. I mean, I can just go here on send and it opens up um, that email activity function. And what this does, this then embeds that link into the email and it saves it as an activity against this particular uh, lead. So that's the CRM functionality that you see kicking in. Now, you won't see a, a specific module called CRM. Why is that? Because CRMs right throughout the entire application, it is truly fully integrated. And that's what you should expect from any ERP system today is that the CRM is fully integrated. It's not another product from somebody else that you have to try and glue it together uh, with some piece of middleware. No matter how good that middleware is, um, it always adds an additional layer of administration. So you wanna try and avoid that wherever you can. But that integration is just there as a standard part of the system. So then I'm going to uh, leave that page and there's my link. So I'm just gonna select it again. So I'm gonna say copy. 
Now here's the thing, once I've got that URL, I can use that anywhere. So for example, let's say I have a Word document. So let me go in here and I'm just going to start up Microsoft Word. So there it is, Word 2013. And I'm gonna open up a blank document. And then I can go here and I can paste that link into Microsoft Word. Now, then what I can do is that's now a URL inside the document. So I'm gonna be a little bit um, a little bit more detailed here than I was planning on, but I think it's a good idea just to show you, you know, what this web-based functionality is all about. Let me go back here to my MYOB advanced system, all right, just to show you there's no smoke and mirrors here. I am going to go ahead and I am going to close that down. And I'm gonna close this screen down as well. And I will close that screen down. Oh, by the way, um, I publish a regular newsletter that you might wanna to subscribe to uh, that shares information about Cloud ERP and MYOB Advanced. But anyway, that's a side point. So now here is my document. All I need to do now is if I go Control and I click on that link, what you'll see happen is the system automatically ask me for my credentials. So I put in my username and then I'm gonna put in my password as well. Okay, cause it's all secured and then I'll hit okay. And what you'll see will happen is it automatically opens up It automatically opens up my web browser. Not only does it take me to that screen, but it actually takes me to that specific link. Okay, so that's the difference between a product that is built for the web versus something that just uses one of those cloud washing techniques to be able to run it in a browser. So be very, very specific when you're looking at solutions, make sure that it is truly web-based, okay? Anyway, let's dive back and let's go back to my company dashboard. By the way, uh, at any point in time, if I want to get back to my home screen, I just click across here on the MYOB advanced link or graphic um, and it will take me to my home screen. So I can go in here, for example, and I can enter a sales order. So we'll just click on enter sales orders and it's now opening up that screen. So the beauty of this is, um, is that you can customize uh, all of those dashboards with as many of those different links on there as you want in any way that you want. I'm gonna give you an example of that in a second. But here's an example of a sales order. So I put in my sales order type. You know, is it a, um, is it a sales order? Is it a sales order with inventory allocation? So the inventory is, is allocated automatically to that sales order so it can't be sold to somebody else. A whole bunch of flexibility that exists inside the MYOB advanced application. So it's a sales order, then I go across here and I pick my customer. So I do a look up. Now, anywhere in MYOB advanced, you see one of these grid screens, you have total control over what information you see in the grid. So for example, if I scroll across here, you'll see this is just a lookup screen. I can see all of this information. All right, customer class, the status, the currency ID, the city, the addresses, and all that kind of thing. But I can go here, for example, I just click on this little, it looks like a filing cabinet, I guess. I click on that, and you know what I can do? Is I can go here, and I can select all of those items, and I can get rid of them, okay? And I'll just hit save. So now, my lookup is just those two columns. All right, so what happens now, when I go and do my customer lookup, I've got just those two columns. So it makes it very, very easy and very, very powerful, um, you know, the way that you can customize the software so that it works the way that you want to work. And that's one of the things that we'll do at Leverage is we'll help identify what is the most effective way for you to utilize the software and what is gonna be the quickest way for us to tailor the software so your people don't have to spend a whole lot of time um, 
getting to know a new way of working. Obviously, there are going to be new things for them to learn, but we can minimize that through tailoring the solution specifically to you. And you can see I'm not writing any code or anything like that. This is very, very easy stuff to do. Okay, you can even narrow it down. If you had 100,000 customers, for example, one of the things you can do with MYOB Advanced is you can say, you know what, I'm logged in as Richard and I have responsibility for a certain territory, say New South Wales. So what it'll do when I'm logged in and I do a lookup, it will only show me customers in the New South Wales territory. So the system's smart enough to do that. Now, let's say I share that territory with three other salespeople. Well, what I can do is I can set uh, record level security in MYOB Advanced so that it will actually only show me the customers in New South Wales that I am the allocated sales rep for. All right, so you can get as sophisticated as you need or as simple as you want. And that's the great thing about MYOB Advanced. All right, and you do a lot of that by using these filters. All right, so you can go in here and here's my filter settings. And this is where you can put in, you know, if this value equals this, then, and that value equals that, then only select these records. So I could say, you know, if, if territory equals New South Wales and sales rep equals Richard, all right? And then I apply that filter and that filter becomes my default. So I just click on the default option there and I don't share it with anybody else. So it's just my filter. Now, once you know how to do a filter in one place inside MYOB Advanced, you know how to do it everywhere else, okay? So again, I'm showing you some of these aspects of the application. All that stuff that I just did, you don't need to do that to do a sales order. Um, to do a sales order, it's really simple. You open up the screen, you put in the sales order type, you look up your customer, I'm gonna sell it to the USA Bartending School. The system then will default in a whole bunch of information for you. And then I just go down here and I start putting in the inventory items. Okay, so I can go here to the inventory ID and I can do a lookup. And of course I can use a barcode reader or an RFID scanner or anything like that uh, to pull this information in to MYOB Advanced because those hardware devices are completely software independent and MYOB Advanced will work with those even though it is a web browser based system. Unlike how things were, you know, six, seven years ago, if you were using any of those devices, you had to have special drivers and those of you who went through that pain, uh, you know, from five to five to eight years ago will know exactly what I'm talking about. You don't have to do any of that stuff anymore. So there's the product. Um, how many do I want? Well, I want one. Uh, it's just showing me how many are on shipments and everything like that. So all that information's there. So that's fine. I can now go and I can add my next product. Okay, and so on and so forth. So I continue to add um, my items. Now, one of the things that you can see is this is a product that actually has sub items. So at any point in time, you can go in here and you can click on this inventory summary link. And what it will do is it will pop up a little screen for you and it'll show you all the information about that inventory item. So this is the thing about MYOB Advanced. Like I said before, it's as, um, as simple as you want, but it can be as complex as you need because with the different editions of MYOB Advanced, you have these different areas of functionality unlocked for you. And what we'll do as part of our discussion with you is we'll help you understand um, which of these particular components you need, uh, because that's what we do. We have uh, what we call situational fluency. We understand what the product does, and then we understand business process as well, because all of our guys have got at least 10 years experience uh, working with ERP software and working with companies just like yours. So we'll understand your business process, we understand our software and we'll map the two together. So that's our job, that's our role, and that's what we do, the value that we add to the process. Because that's part of the reason why we're called a value added reseller, um, is because when we resell you the software, we do add some value to the process. So there you have it, there's your sales order. Um, you've got all this other information you can put in here as well. And you can, um, if you want to, you can move these fields around. So let's say, for example, I want the quantity after the warehouse. So all I do is I click and I drag that field across there. So now quantity is there after warehouse. 
Uh, let's say, for example, I want to allocate it as a free item. I want to put that back over here after unit of measure. I just drag it and drop it. So I've just added a couple more items to that. So I can go in here and I can push that out to Microsoft Excel because everywhere in the software, you see that Excel icon, usually where there are these grids, it will create uh, an Excel spreadsheet for me. So I hit save there. And then with one click, I go ahead and I open up my Excel spreadsheet. Now it's gonna say, hey, be careful. Um, you know, these, these files that come from the internet because it knows it's come across from a, a website. Um, it's saying, hey, do you wanna enable the editing? And I'll say, yes, I do to that. All right, so there is all that data from that sales order automatically popped in here into Microsoft Excel for me. So that's great. Um, anywhere where I've got those grids, I can do that. So then when I'm finished, when I'm ready, I just basically hit my save button and that is my sales order ready to now push across. Now, of course, this can trigger off actions. So what I can do is I am able to, for example, I can trigger um, an approval process. I can send a message to somebody letting them know that this sales order has, has come in. Or I can set up background processes that monitor the system and say, look, if the sales order is over a certain value or if the profit margin is at a certain level, it'll send somebody a message letting them know that they need to do something or take some action with this, with this uh, sales order. But then when I'm ready to go to the next step, I can go in here and I can create the shipment or I can email the sales order or quote. Uh, if I've got to create a purchase order, let's say I'm buying these products specifically to sell to a customer because I've got some special pricing happening, I can do that, I can place it on back order, all kinds of things that I can do there. Again, this is not training, just wanna show you the level of flexibility that's in the system. So for example, I can say email sales order or quote, and you'll see what it's doing right now is it's generating the, um, the, the sales order document for me. And any time it's working in the background, what you'll do is you'll see you've got this little um, this little button here that's telling you that a process is executing in the background. Now, um, if you run into a problem, and I expected this to happen because I wanted to show you this, um, if something goes wrong in the system, what it does, those little indicators will come up in red. If it happens success, works successfully, it'll come up in green. Um, but it's just saying, hey, there are no active notification sources to process the operation. So it's saying, you know what? You can't configure um, to email this out to somebody because you haven't configured an email address for this particular customer. So you would have to go and do that first. But of course, the advantage to that is you can click simply here on this little pen icon and that will open up if you've got the rights, this customer, and you can then um, edit that customer. All right. So a lot of things that you can do there, and of course you can attach notes. This is not rocket science. Pretty much every software package can do this. Can do this. I just wanna show you that we also have the same capability. You can attach those notes, but then what you can also do is you can attach files. So let's say for example, the customer sent you uh, a purchase order. So you can go in here to files, and you can go out and you can browse out to where that file might be. Uh, maybe they have sent you that, um, that, uh, that purchase order, or maybe you want to attach a particular document to it, where well, you can go in here and you can find that document that you want. Okay, all my photos of my most recent trip to New Zealand. Um, but you know, just as an example, here let's say is a PDF document, I can open that PDF document, I can upload it. And now you'll see that that document is being uploaded as soon as the upload's finished. You can see down the bottom there, 85%, now it's complete it will then appear in here in the system. Now, at the risk of getting too complex, and I'm gonna stop it because I do have a tendency to get carried away. Um, and I guess it's because I'm the product evangelist, right? If you can't get excited about your own product, then there's something desperately wrong with you. But anyway, uh, you can see inside MYOB Advanced, when you've got these documents, there's actual full document management in here. All right, so I can, um, upload that document, okay? So that's now done. And then I can close that down. It tells me here, hey, I've got one file. Now I've got that file there. What I can do is I can click on edit here and it opens up a new screen and you'll see here is all the document management. 
So even right down to maintaining different versions of these documents, it manages all of that for you. And there's a link there as well to where I can go and jump to this document, both externally and internally. All right, so very, very powerful. And I can check the documents in, check them out and so on. All right, so why am I telling you that? It's just a, again an example of the power that's available inside MYOB Advanced if you want it. Okay, again, um, the beauty of a system like MYOB Advanced is you can start with the basics. Okay, uh, you can start with one of the, uh, the, the entry level editions of MYOB Advanced and then move. Okay, so you can start with plus uh, and then go to um, say the um, enterprise edition or whatever the case may be. Um, and you don't have to do any data conversion. It's just a matter of applying a new license and then configuring the additional functionality that you now have access to. All right, so uh, very, very powerful. So again, that's another little bit of a look at the user interface there. And of course, reporting is a standard part of, of any system because it's great that you can get the data in, but let's say we want to get the data out. Well, when you're working in MYOB Advanced, you've got this navigation panel across here. So this is where we enter our work. This is where we process transactions. So for example, let's say I've done a thousand orders today. Now what do I want to do? I want to process those orders. So I can click here on process orders and then I can select all the orders that I've worked on and then I can generate picking slips or I can you know, just go straight ahead and generate invoices from them or whatever the case may be. So these are the processes that happen in bulk or en masse, okay? So that's what this little function is. And when you're hovering over these buttons, all right, there it's telling you um, what each one of these things does, okay? And then of course I've got my reports. So I can go here into reports and I've got all these different reports. So for example, I've got an order register so I can get a list of all of my orders. Now, reporting's really, really flexible with MYOB Advanced. And you'll see, I can create all these parameters for a report and then I can save this as a template. And then I can run that template at any particular time. So a template is like a saved collection of these parameters that I've specified. Or I can just go in here and I can say, run my report. All right, and what it's gonna do, it's then gonna bring up um, all the documents that are applicable in that report. Now, the reports in MYOB Advanced, they also have the ability to drill down. So one click on that field allows me to then pop open a new screen and drill down. And there is that sales order that I put in. Okay. And you can see, you can recognize all that information. And then of course, when I'm looking at the sales order, I can click there on the inventory ID and drill down and look at the inventory item itself. Okay, so again, uh, very, very flexible, very, very powerful. I can close that down and I'm back in my order register. All right, and then one click, I can go and print that out. I can email it to somebody as a PDF, or again, I can export it out as an Excel document. All right, um, okay, so that's all very nice. The standard reports and, and literally hundreds and hundreds of standard audit trail style reports. Now. One of the things that's really great about MYOB Advanced is there's a function in here called generic inquiries. So what this enables you to do, it enables you to build your own queries into the system. So if I go here to system and I go to customization, in best television chef uh, format, I've got a generic inquiry that I've created earlier. So I go here to generic inquiries. So let's select our sales orders and quotes generic inquiry. So there it is, sales orders and quotes. Now you can see in here, I've got uh, the tables and the relationships between those tables. And then I specify the uh, fields that I wanna see. So this is just like creating a, uh, a standard query in a database. And then I can go here and I can say view the inquiry. And then that's what it looks like um, in the background. So that's the standard inquiry. All right, I've got my sales order type, the order number, the status, the customer name, the date, the currency, and the order total. So of course, I can now take that again, one click, and I can push that out to um, Microsoft Excel. 
So again, uh, it's now preparing that spreadsheet for me. There's quite a few orders in here. So there it is, sales orders and quotes. I'll hit the save button. And that's now done. And I can open up that document. And again, there's my Excel spreadsheet. Bang. All right, so now, see what it says here? I'm going to enable my editing, but now it's going to say, hey, there's an external data connection here. So this spreadsheet is automatically linked via web services into your data, but it's only a read-only link. You can't change information in the spreadsheet and push it back in, all right? Um, so we're going to enable that content. So what that means is, let's say in the meantime, somebody's gone and entered in another 50 orders. All I do here with my spreadsheet, I could be on the other side of the world as long as I've got an internet connection. I just go data, refresh all. Now watch this date and time, okay? Right, so it's now 12th of October at 7.04 a.m. Greenwich Mean Time. You've got the ability to, um, to specify all those formats. So then it says, all right, you're gonna connect into the back end system, so who are you? Because it's gonna check that the user that I put in here actually has access to look at this data. So again, this is my standard username and password that I use in MYOB Advanced. And I say, okay, that, now watch this date and time. Make sure that you understand there's no smoke and mirrors here. Okay, so there you go. One minute later, it's refreshed. So all this information has now been updated. Okay, so it makes it very, very flexible and very, very powerful. Uh, and makes it very, very easy for people to, you know, to, to basically work wherever they are. Now, remember I talked about empowering your employees. This is an example. You know, we give them the ability to access all this kind of information. Okay, no matter where they are, if they're working from home, if they're on the road, uh, if they're in an interstate office or visiting a vendor overseas, you've got complete flexibility to be able to have access into your data. All right, so I'm gonna close that down. Do I wanna save those changes? Yes, I do. All right, so here's my sales orders and quotes generic inquiry. Now, here's the thing. I can take this, all right, and I can publish it onto my menu. So all I do is I go here, back into my uh, editing, my generic inquiry, and remember this isn't training. I, again, I'm not gonna expect you to remember all of this. We'll train you and we have a series of training videos and walkthroughs that guide you through each one of these processes as well. But you'll see when I am editing this, you can see I can go here and I can say for my sitemap location, I want it to be under audit. This over here, this menu across the top and the navigation bar on the side, because MYOB Advanced is a giant website effectively, um, it's used what's called a site map. So we put it on the site map with the title sales orders and quotes, and then it says, okay, whereabouts on the site map do you want it to be? So we want it to go on to under distribution, under sales orders, in the audit area, okay? And that's exactly where we want it to be. Now, there it is, sales orders and quotes, because I already put it there before. But, um, so I go ahead and I do that, I hit save, and then if I go across here, I go to distribution, sales orders, down into my audit area, there it is, sales orders and quotes. So one click brings up those parameters and bang, there's my generic inquiry. So very, very flexible, again, very, very powerful. And then what I can do is I can take this and I can take this information and I can put it straight onto a dashboard as a table or as a chart. So let's say I wanted to take my sales orders and quotes and put it as a table. I just go in here and say, I wanna create a dashboard, sales orders and quotes. What information do I wanna see on it? Well, I just wanna see the order number I want to see the status, the customer name, the date, and the order total. And then I'll hit OK. And that's now done. So that's now going onto a dashboard called Sales Orders. And so if I go here, and I am, let's just dive back to our main screen. So you can see right back here uh, with our dashboards. So here's my dashboard. If I now go to organization, I've got my company dashboard. Here's my sales dashboard. 
okay? What I can do is I can now go into my design and I can copy that, um, that dashboard that I've just created, that dashboard component, and I can put it onto this particular dashboard, all right? So under my dashboard templates, on my sales dashboard, is my sales dashboard template. So I can take my generic inquiry and I can go here to dashboard and I can add this as a table and I can put it on one of my target dashboards. So uh, for example, I've got uh, a dashboard that if I go in here and I'll look under my organization and I'll look at my dashboard templates or I'll look at my company dashboards, I want to put this onto my sales dashboard. So I'll choose the sales dashboard there and I want to see the order number, the status, the customer name and the order total. That's all I want to see. So I say okay to that. And so now what will happen when I go back into the system and I am looking at my dashboards, if I go back here, I'll just close down that Norton toolbar there. If I go to my MYOB advanced link, takes me back into my dashboards. Okay, here is my standard dashboard that I always work with. But now if I go to organization and I go to my company dashboards and I look at my sales dashboard, what will you see? There's my sales orders and quotes, generic inquiry automatically added on there. And then all I have to do is just move things around a little bit to get it to fit exactly where I want. So let's say I wanna pop that up onto here. So that's it, that's nice and simple. And then I can resize that and we're good to go. So I don't know about you, but I actually think that's pretty exciting. Now, I don't know if you can hear it in the background, hopefully you can't, but one of my dogs, Bessie, is uh, she doesn't think it's particularly exciting at all. Matter of fact, she's lying on the floor snoring her head off. So hopefully you're not hearing that as I'm recording this. Um, but yeah, I think it's exciting. She obviously doesn't think it's that exciting, but uh, it really makes it easy for you to design a system that works exactly the way you want it to. You don't have to change your business processes to work with, uh, with the software, all right? Although we'll make some recommendations, you know, based on best practices that we've picked up by working with other companies in your industry, we might make some suggestions around different ways of doing things. One of the questions we always usually ask um, is when somebody tells us, well, we do it like this, this, and this, one of the questions we'll ask is, well, why do you do it that way? And it's not because you know we're being clever or smart, but oftentimes we just wanna understand because a lot of the time people will say, well, that's just the way we've always done it. So that then gives us well, a lot of the time the opportunity to, to introduce a, that there's potentially a better way or a, you know, a faster way or a more effective way of, of, of handling that, right? So again, that's part of our process. I'm gonna talk about that in our Empower methodology in a couple of seconds. So almost finished with our introductory demonstration. A couple of the other things that I wanted to uh, quickly show you. I wanna show you one other aspect of those generic inquiries. And, and I focus a little bit on this because you know, it's great that you can get data into an ERP system, but really it's how easy is it to get data out? Well, when I'm working with those generic inquiries, okay, let's go back to our customization again. Um, what I can do is if I look at my generic inquiry, there's a new feature, there's a new standard for accessing data and it's called OData or OData, depending on how you like to say it. And that stands for open data. What you can do 
is you can build your generic inquiry and then you simply click this button that says expose via OData, all right? What does that then do? Well, that then makes it very, very easy for you to start working um, with your data inside MYOB Advanced from tools like Microsoft Excel. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna show you an example of how that works. In this case, I'm not pushing the data out to Excel from uh, MYOB Advanced. I'm gonna open up Excel and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull the data in to Excel. All right, so here's my empty worksheet. So all I do here is I say data and then I say get data from other sources. And then I go down here and you'll see there's an option that says from O data data feed. So one click there. It asks me, where is that data coming from? So I'll just go back to my web browser and where is the data coming from? Well, it's coming from here. All right, so all I need to do is just grab that part of the link. So I'll say copy, go back into Excel, paste that in there. All right, and then I just add O data to the end of that. Now it's gonna say, all right, when you go and connect to that link, what's your username and password? Again, all this is being done securely. So there's no backdoors, there's no way of hacking in, you know, um, either knowingly or by accident into the system. You have to have a password. And again, you'll see that link HTTPS. So it's all being encrypted for you. So R Duffy, and then I'll put in my password. And then I'll say next. So what's it now doing? It's now linking directly over the internet from Excel using OData. It's going in and it's saying, okay, give me a list of all the generic inquiries that are available that have got that little tick box on them. And you'll see there's quite a lot there that I've exposed out. But there it is, there's my sales orders and quotes. I click on, um, I click on that and then I'll say next. It allows me to put some description, descriptive information about what this link is if other people are gonna use the spreadsheet. Or I can just say finish and then it says, what do you do, wanna do with the data? Well, I wanna put it into a table. So I say, okay. And then again, you can see down the bottom, it says it's retrieving data. Press escape to cancel. Now I can be on the other side of the world. In fact, I actually am on the other side of the world. Right now, uh, I am still in the United States uh, and I'm recording this from my home office here in the United States. This server is actually over in Sydney. So my computer's here in Seattle, in Washington. Um, the server is over in an, um, a data center in Sydney. Uh, and you can see how quickly the system's responding. So again, um, you can be anywhere in the world accessing, uh, accessing your application. So that's great. So now I've got my, my, my data in a table. Well, that's all very interesting, but let's say I wanna start charting it. Well, I can go in here to data and I can say existing connections. There's the connection I just created. So I'll say open. And now it says, well, what do you wanna do? Well, I'll say, well, I actually want it on a pivot chart. And I wanna put that into a new worksheet and I'll say, okay. So now it creates my pivot chart. So here's my pivot chart. Let's pop that up here. And now I can start using all the graphing and charting functionality inside Microsoft Excel with a live link into the backend system. So I wanna look at my order totals. All right, so there it is. There's my order total, uh, $281,007.90. All right, but I wanna see that now by customer name. So again, click. So there's my order total by customer name. But I can go across here and I can filter this, okay? And I can say I wanna sort them from A to Z. Uh, or I can go in here and I could say, you know what? I only wanna see you know, the top five. So in order to do that, probably what I wanna do is look at my order total and it'll know that's a number. So I've got uh, my value filters. So I can say, show me the top 10, all right? Top 10 items based on the sum of order total. So I'll say, okay. Uh, and then I can continue filtering that down further and further until I've got it exactly the way I want. So of course, now I'm just working with standard functionality in Microsoft Excel. I can even start to add um, additional filters. So I can click on the status, for example, I can drag that down here and make that a filter that then appears on my pivot chart. So I can say, show me only those orders 
um, that are uh, on hold. Okay, so I'll say okay, and then it's now just showing me the values of the on hold orders, or show me the orders that, I'll say select multiple items, that are either open or back ordered. And I'll say okay, so now I've got my orders that are open or back ordered. So very, very powerful functionality. Now, the risk of sounding like a late night television salesperson, but wait, there's more. Um, you can do a heck of a lot more with this because Microsoft have just released a new tool called Power BI. So I can take this file now and I can go ahead and I can save it, all right? And I can save it out to the cloud. I can save it out to OneDrive. Um, so I'm gonna save it out on OneDrive. I'm gonna save it on my Power BI work area. Okay, so I select Power BI Work. All right, and then I'll put it in here. So I'll just say this is my, uh, I'll call this book, my MYOB Advanced. MYOB Advanced. So now, important to remember, the link to the data is held inside the Excel spreadsheet. It's still a live link. So I'm gonna hit save on that. So that's now there. So I'm going to open up. Um, I'm going to open up my document, and I'm going to go in now to Power BI. So I'm going to open up Microsoft Edge, and I'll go to www.powerbi.com. All right, and I am now going to sign in to Power BI, which is a completely web-based business intelligence tool. So I hit sign in, and I'm going to log in with my username and password. Okay, so I've got Richard at richardduffy.com because I've got my own special account for doing demonstrations. Of course, we use all this functionality ourselves at Leverage, but I'm not going to go to our production system. I just might use my demo account. Uh, again, I'll put in my password. And I'm now in my, my Power BI system. So what do I do? Uh, this is an example one that's just a standard setup. Oh, and by the way, you can access Power BI completely free of charge. So there's a free version, and there's a version which is around nine or $10 per user per month. Um, but again, I would encourage you to go and try it with the free version. So I go in here and I'll say, you know what? I want to get some data. So I go down here to get data, and I want to import or connect to data. So I'll say files, get, and it says, okay, is it coming from a local file or OneDrive? So now I can say OneDrive, and we'll give this a couple of seconds. It automatically links to my OneDrive, and you'll see in my documents, all things being equal, and it's loading up all these documents for me now. And again, this is all happening securely over the cloud. And I'll scroll down to my um, to my Power BI work folder, and there it is. There is my MYOB demo spreadsheet, and so we will select that and then say connect. And you'll see what basically is now happening is that Power BI is now connecting to that spreadsheet, and it is linking to the data. And then it's automatically going to try and read its way through that data and try and interpret it. So now I can select that, um, that MYOB demo, and now I'm able to start building a visualization. So there's all the fields that are in the data. So I can say, all right, I've got my order total. So I select that, and there you see now inside my web browser, I'm now able to start doing all of these different visualizations of the data. So I wanna see orders by, again, let's look at it by customer name. So there it is, orders by customer name. But let's say I wanna look at that as a funnel. If I want to, I can start doing some sorting. So I can sort by this, sort by order total. And there you can see it, it's now actually showing me sorted by order total in descending order. Or you know what, I can say I wanna see it as a pie chart. Now this isn't intended to be um, a, a, a tutorial on Power BI, there's lots of those on powerbi.com, but you can build a whole range of these visualizations. So you know, there's my, my sales orders by customer, but then I can go in here, I can say, let's look at my sales orders now by status. 
All right, so, and I'll just drag that back up here. Sales orders by status, back ordered, cancel, completed. Then I'm gonna sort that by order total. So I get to see what have I got the most of. Um, so good to see uh, the majority of my orders are completed. I still have a lot open. Um, I've got uh, a lot less that are shipped and cancelled and invoiced and so on and so forth. But then of course I can start changing the visualizations behind that. I might say I want to look at that as a um, as a bar graph but put it on its side. I might then say, you know what, uh, I actually want to start um, doing other things with it. Let's say I want to look at that by currency. So I'll add my currency field as well. So now it's breaking that down based on the currency. So now I'm looking at order total by status and currency. So again, you can build some really, really nice visualizations. Now, pretty much everything that I've just shown you there with Power BI, you can do in the free version, all right? It's only when you wanna start getting into doing automatic refreshing and setting more detailed levels of security and things like that, that you need to look at the, um, at the paid version of Power BI. But I'm gonna take you through some of those things in another one of my demonstrations. Okay, so with that, let's dive back to where we started uh, in our generic inquiry in MYOB Advanced. And that's pretty much where I'm gonna wrap up the demonstration uh, and we'll get back into our presentation. So hopefully that demonstration was of value for you. Okay, so let's talk about the MYOB Advanced Technical Framework and Application Architecture. With any modern application, it really has to be built on a solid foundation. And the foundation for MYOB Advanced is actually from Acumatica, the organization um, that, uh, that I have uh, just recently departed from to move back to Australia and join Leverage Cloud Technologies. So Acumatica has built the Acumatica XRP cloud platform. And what does it do? It provides all of these services and all of these components that are already built that enables organizations to build a complete ERP solution on top of it. But not only an ERP solution, it's really designed for any transactional solution. But the strength is really around ERP. It contains all of that core functionality. And by the way, if you're a technical person and you wanted to have a technical discussion with me about it, I'd be more than happy to have that conversation with you. I can provide you as much of the technical information as you need um, to make your hair stand on end. As a matter of fact, one of the things that we found is one of the key drivers for many organizations uh, in choosing MYOB Advance has really been that technical framework and application architecture because it gives them the ability to be able to take the solution and really tailor it to what they want. But by the same token, if you don't wanna to touch your software, if you don't wanna tailor it, if you don't wanna poke around with it, tinker with it underneath the hood, you don't have to because what MYOB Advance provides for you, because what MYOB Advance provides for you is a complete set of application suites already built. And this is again, part of the Acumatica platform. So all those suites that we were talking about before, distribution, project accounting, uh, CRM, they are all part of the core MYOB Advanced application. Now then sitting on the side, we have organizations who have built what we call complementary. That's complementary, not complementary. So that means they, they add value, they're not free. But that allows you to take your MYOB advanced solution and go into more specific areas. Like maybe you need discrete manufacturing. Maybe you need a detailed service management, retail point of sale functionality. That's where those integrated complementary solutions kick in. And then we have what we call connected complementary solutions. So these aren't applications built using the same development environment, but they use what's called web services. And web services is a standard piece of integration architecture that most modern applications today um, expose out. And that's what I showed you in that little example of using the integration to Excel and having that Excel integration happening live and also the Power BI business intelligence tool. Both of those are examples of where we're using web services to connect seamlessly, securely, 
and in an integrated fashion between Acumatica and those complementary solutions. So, you know, if you've got shipping and logistics, warehouse management, budgeting and forecasting, maybe you've got an e-commerce platform that's working really well for you and you just need to plug it into your backend solution. Well, Acumatic, well, MYOB Advanced has that entire uh, web services framework that's available for you to provide that connection. And this is part of the reason why uh, it's not just MYOB Advanced that is built on top of that Acumatica platform. Of course, MYOB Advanced is focused purely here on Australia and of course, New Zealand. And MYOB have an exclusive agreement with Acumatica to take that product, uh, enhance it for the Australian and New Zealand market and bring it to market. But of course, Acumatica in the United States uh, and throughout uh, parts of Europe and South America are taking that same product uh, as Acumatica and taking it to market. But then interestingly, just as MYOB have addressed the Australian New Zealand market, there's an organization in the Nordic countries called Visma, and they've done a similar thing to what MYOB have done. They've taken that platform and they've chosen to build their next generation of ERP applications on top of the platform. So the reason for that is because it has strong technology leadership, a solid development uh, platform and a solid development team of which the MYOB team are part of that development effort and forward-looking cloud technology. I think you will find as you look at all the applications, I'm not gonna name names, but many of the applications that today you are looking at in the cloud are built on technology from the late 90s. Only Acumatica has the technology that is built in the last three to four years, okay? Built on standards that have really been accepted and really become broadly adopted over the last three to four years and will be the standard going forwards, which has been recognized by all the standard setting organizations. So let me then talk about leverage cloud technologies because hopefully by now you're thinking, mm, okay, well this software looks pretty good and we should have a little bit more of a detailed look at it. Why would you wanna talk further to us at Leverage? Well, we believe that our people provide you with, uh, uh, we believe that our people are your advantage. People like myself uh, with 30 years of experience in implementing uh, enterprise resource planning, uh, having worked with almost every enterprise resource planning product that you could think of, whether it's, you know, again, as I said, Acumatica and now MYOB Advanced, SAP with SAP Business One, Dynamics GP, uh, and then prior to that, what was called Great Plains. But our team of people have experience implementing ERP solutions in a wide variety of industries. And we believe it's that capability, their ability to have what we like to call situational fluency. What is situational fluency? That's our team's ability to understand your business problem and to be able to map the software functionality through to solving that business problem. So that's one of the reasons, the primary reason why we believe that leverage cloud technologies are the right organization for you to look, uh, look to, to partner with in the selection and implementation of your next application. So just letting you know, uh, 25 plus employees, we are constantly growing uh, in Sydney, Melbourne and Brisbane. The organization was actually founded in 2005 by Brett Mundell, Warren Roberts and Pierre Fury focused primarily when the company started out on SAP Business One. Matter of fact, when I was at SAP, I signed uh, Leverage Technologies as an SAP Business One partner. And they're now one of the biggest SAP Business One partners in Australia. And Pierre and his team focused on Sage. They have some of the most skilled Sage people in the market. But what we're focused on at Leverage Cloud Technologies is MYOB Advanced. And we've started a whole new group, which I lead to, to go out and help small and mid-sized enterprises like yours uh, realize your potential by leveraging these cloud technologies. The company is privately owned. And again, as I mentioned, offices right throughout the Eastern seaboard. Our customer advantage is that we provide dedicated support and attention to you from our support resources. 
Our support resources provide you with everything you need. If we need assistance from MYOB, we get that. We get our training, our support, and our certification from MYOB. So we provide you with first and second level support. And then if there's issues which we can't handle, then we will go back to MYOB or the ISV, and an ISV, that stands for Independent Software Vendor. They're the companies who build those complementary solutions I was talking about, like Microsoft with Power BI, for example. Um, we go back and we do uh, all the work to make sure that these applications are working together smoothly. So we have a great team of people who've been working in this framework for many, many years, not just since Leverage was formed back in 2005, but of course, from prior to that. The th third thing that I wanted to quickly talk about is the importance of having a methodology. With Leverage Cloud Technologies, we follow a methodology called Empower, because it's really focused on empowering you and us to ensure that you have a successful implementation. What are the steps in this methodology? Well, step one is we'll come in and we'll work with your team and evaluate where can we and the software have the biggest impact. If we cannot have a positive measurable impact on your business, then we're gonna tell you there's probably not much reason for you to do anything right now. If the right thing to do is go and look at a different solution or stay with your existing solution, we're gonna tell you that because we don't wanna be in a situation where we are deploying something which really adds no value for you. So then once we've determined that there is value, that we can provide a solution that drives value and delivers value for you, then we're gonna map out what does that solution need to be? What are the areas in the business that we need to focus on first? Once we've done that, we build a plan because if you fail to plan, then you plan to fail. So we map out a plan and that can be simple or complex depending on the size of your organization. And the great thing about our methodology is it allows us to adapt to meet your specific needs. After we've done that, we then operationalize that. So that's taking that plan and turning it into documentation, turning into project documents, scope documents, uh, and so on and so forth. We then build the work packages. That is when we put together the development pieces, um, the reporting pieces, all of those different pieces of work that have to be done either by our team or by your team. Then we execute those work packages. We implement the software, we migrate your data, uh, you do the parts that, uh, that you have taken on inside your team, and then Finally, we review. We step back and say, okay, what have we achieved? And what is the next area where you as an organization can draw more value from the investment that you've made? So hopefully that makes sense. That's what the Empower methodology is all about. So with that, um, I would like to invite you to leverage cloud technologies and realize your business potential with MYOB Advanced. There's some specific things that I'd like to ask you to do. If what I've talked about looks interesting, then what I would suggest is that you visit our website at www.leveragecloudtech.com.au. Now, when you go to our website, on the right-hand side, you're gonna see a little button that either has live chat if you're contacting us during business hours or after hours if one of our team is actually connected and burning the midnight oil that will say live chat and you can talk to a, a real human being you might uh, also if you like um, talk to me because i also uh, keep an eye on what's happening on that uh, on that chat queue you can reach out to me directly via my email address at richard.duffy at leveragetech.com.au. You can follow me on Twitter. My Twitter handle is Richard A. Duffy. Or of course, on the website, on the homepage, there's two things you can do. You can um, get access to more demonstrations, or if you'd like to book a 30 minute session with me, you'll see there's a button on the homepage and it says book an introductory session. No obligation, click on there, it'll show you the time slots that are available. And again, using web service technology, 
what you can do is you can select a time and that will automatically integrate to my Outlook calendar. And then off the back end of that, you'll automatically get a confirmation of the meeting time that you've selected. And then we'll get together for half an hour and or maybe longer if you want, but usually about half an hour is enough for us to determine whether or not there's something of value that we can deliver for you. Uh, we can have that conversation and make some decisions about the next steps. So with that, I'd like to thank you again on behalf of all of us at Leverage Technologies and Leverage Cloud Technologies, our cloud division. I'd like to thank you for taking time to watch today's presentation. And I look forward to having the opportunity to work with you and to see how we can help you realize your business potential. Thank you very much.